Gunshots, screams, chaos, the air was thick with fear and the metallic scent of blood. This wasn't a scene from a gangster movie, it was just another Tuesday night in Memphis's Orange Mound neighborhood. A young Big 30, barely out of his teens, found himself staring death in the face. His best friend, a brother in arms, lay sprawled on the pavement, another victim of the relentless street violence plaguing their community. That night, something inside Big 30 shifted. The trauma etched itself onto his soul, a chilling reminder of life's fragility in their world. But amidst the despair, a steely resolve emerged. Big 30 wouldn't just survive, he would thrive. He would use his pain, his anger, his truth to fuel his art, to give voice to the voiceless, to become a force to be reckoned with. For Big 30, music became more than just an escape, it was a lifeline. Childhood for Big 30 wasn't swing sets and ice cream trucks, it was witnessing drug deals and dodging police raids. Growing up in Orange Mound, one of Memphis's poorest neighborhoods, meant confronting harsh realities from a tender age. Survival became a way of life, a daily hustle where the odds were stacked against you. The streets were his classroom, teaching him street smarts and survival instincts that no textbook could ever replicate. Music, however, offered a different kind of education. Hip-hop pulsed through the veins of Memphis, offering an escape, a voice, a dream. Big 30 found solace in the rhythmic cadence of rappers like Yo Gotti and 3-6 Mafia, local heroes who had escaped the streets through their music. Their stories resonated with him, fueled his ambition, and ignited a fire within him. He started rapping as a teenager, expressing his reality, his frustrations, his aspirations through raw, unfiltered lyrics. Word of his talent spread through the streets, his authenticity striking a chord with those who lived and breathed the Memphis streets. His breakout single, Allegations, thrust him into the spotlight, its raw depiction of street life captivating audiences. The track became an anthem, his voice resonating far beyond the confines of his neighborhood. He was no longer just another kid rapping on street corners. He was Big 30, a rising star from the streets of Memphis, his music a testament to his lived experiences. The streets, however, are a fickle mistress. They could elevate you one minute and swallow you whole the next. As Big 30's fame grew, so did the scrutiny and the danger. His loyalty to his crew, his brothers, remained unwavering, but the streets were littered with landmines. Betrayal, violence, and loss became recurring themes in his life, each tragedy leaving an indelible mark on his psyche. The murder of his close friend and collaborator Pooh Shisti sent shockwaves through Big 30's world. The pain of his loss echoed through his music, his lyrics becoming even rawer, even more laced with grief and anger. He grappled with survivor's guilt, questioning his path, the price of loyalty, the fragility of life in their world. Yet through the pain, his music became his therapy, his outlet, his weapon. He channeled his grief, his rage, his vulnerability into his art, his lyrics resonating with a raw honesty that resonated with fans. His music became a chronicle of his experiences, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. He wasn't afraid to show his scars, to expose his vulnerabilities, to let the world see the man behind the tough exterior. Fame, it seemed, offered no escape from the street's clutches. If anything, it intensified the dangers, turning him into a target. Rivals saw him as a threat. Law enforcement viewed him with suspicion, and the streets he called home remained as unforgiving as ever. Big 30 found himself walking a tightrope, balancing his newfound fame with the realities of his past. He survived multiple attempts on his life, each a stark reminder of the precarity of his existence. The streets he tried to escape through his music seemed determined to drag him back in. The violence that plagued his community followed him like a shadow, a constant reminder of the ever-present danger lurking around every corner. Yet, Big 30 refused to be silenced. He continued to use his platform to speak truth to power, to shed light on the injustices plaguing his community. His music became a form of activism, his lyrics a call to action, urging listeners to confront the systemic issues that fueled the cycle of violence and poverty. Despite the tough exterior, the braggadocio, the gangster persona, glimpses of vulnerability peeked through Big 30's music. He wasn't afraid to express his emotions, to show the toll that street life had taken on his soul. He rapped about love, loss, loyalty, betrayal, the complexities of life in the streets, and the yearning for something more. In his music we heard the voice of a young man grappling with the duality of his existence. He was both a product of his environment and a force fighting to rise above it. He was the tough guy, the gangster, but also the loving son, the loyal friend, the artist pouring his heart out through his music. 
His vulnerability resonated with listeners, particularly those trapped in similar circumstances. They saw themselves in his struggles, his pain, his triumphs. He became a beacon of hope, proof that even amidst the darkness, a spark of humanity could still shine through. For Big 30, music wasn't just a career, it was therapy. It was his way of processing the trauma, the grief, the anger, and the fear that haunted him. Through his lyrics he exercised his demons, giving voice to the pain that he and his community carried. Each song became a cathartic release, a way to transform his pain into something positive, something that could connect with others who understood his struggle. He poured his heart and soul into his music, his raw honesty shining through in every verse. His music became a form of self-expression, a way to make sense of the chaos that surrounded him. It allowed him to confront his demons, to process his emotions, to find a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. Section 7, The Weight of Representation, Big 30's Influence. Big 30's rise to fame coincided with a pivotal moment in hip-hop, where authenticity and realness were highly valued. Listeners were drawn to artists who spoke about their lived experiences who weren't afraid to show their vulnerabilities. Big 30, with his raw talent and unflinching honesty, became a symbol of this new wave of hip-hop. He carried the weight of representation on his shoulders, becoming a voice for the voiceless, for those trapped in the cycle of poverty and violence that plagued his community. His music gave them a platform, a sense of recognition, and a glimmer of hope that their stories mattered but with great influence comes great responsibility. Big 30 found himself navigating the complexities of his newfound platform, aware that his words had the power to inspire, but also to incite. He walked a tightrope, staying true to his roots while trying to use his platform to advocate for change. Section 8, Systemic Traps, Poverty, Race, and the Cycle of Violence. Big 30's story isn't unique. It's a tragic reflection of the systemic issues plaguing marginalized communities across America. Poverty, lack of opportunities and racial injustice create a breeding ground for violence, trapping generations in a cycle of despair. He became a product of his environment, shaped by the harsh realities of growing up in a community ravaged by poverty and violence. His music reflected these realities laying bare the systemic failures that contribute to the cycle of poverty and violence. His story is a stark reminder that talent alone isn't enough to escape these systemic traps. It requires a fundamental shift in societal structures addressing the root causes of poverty, racism, and lack of opportunity. Section 9. A New Generation's Voice, Hope and Despair in Harmony Despite the darkness that permeates Big 30's music, there's a glimmer of hope, a flicker of resilience that shines through. His story is a testament to the power of the human spirit, the ability to find light amidst the shadows. He represents a new generation of artists who are using their platform to shed light on social injustices, to give voice to the voiceless, and to inspire change. Their music is a reflection of their realities, but it's also a testament to their resilience, their hope for a better future. Big 30's music, while raw and often brutal, carries within it a message of hope. It's a hope rooted in the power of community, the strength found in shared experiences, and the belief that even in the darkest of times, change is possible. Section 10. Beyond the Music, A Legacy Etched in Reality Big 30's legacy extends far beyond the music. He's become a symbol of hope and resilience for a generation grappling with similar struggles. His story serves as a reminder that even amidst the darkness, the human spirit can endure. His music continues to resonate with listeners, his words offering solace, understanding, and a sense of community to those who feel marginalized and unheard. He sparked conversations about social justice, racial inequality, and the need for systemic change. Big 30's story is a call to action, a reminder that we must address the root causes of poverty, violence, and despair if we truly want to create a more just and equitable society. His legacy will continue to inspire, provoke, and challenge us to create a world where every child has the opportunity to reach their full potential, regardless of their zip code.